Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. In this video I will tell you five of my most used functions which I use in OpenHub 3. A few times I got the same question about a problem and then I thought to myself maybe it's a good idea to post kind of a tips and tricks video. So my first tip would be to use a thing called metadata. Um, I use this uh, function quite often. And my first tip would be to use the metadata default widget order index. So for example, we are in the locations page here. And if you click, uh, for example, this card, my office card, you will see that on first position, uh, there is a item called office light. On the second position, there is my office light costs and so on. So I got this item sorted in a specific arrangement. Um, normally, if you link new items or new devices to OpenHub 3, they are kind of unsorted. So um, probably you want this in a specific uh, arrangement or your personal arrangement. So um, to do this, we go into settings and then we go into the model. And I think we will choose the same example again. So I go into my office location here. And then um, if I click, for example, the first equipment, you will see a metadata called default widget order index with the index number one. My studio lights, you got the ind index number two. So basically this equipment here, the office light is um, stick to the position one and my studio lights is stick to the position two. Um, so in this scenario, you can uh, arrange your equipments or your items inside one location or inside a card, for example, and you got your personal arrangement, how you gonna like it. Um, so for example, if we just add a new equipment here, I call this one test. I leave everything in default and then I click on save. As you can see, the test equipment is just uh, on the bottom here. But for example, I want this on uh, position five. Well, let's see. I want this on position four. Then I click on it, click on add metadata, and then I choose this one, default widget order index. And I will uh, pick the number four. And then this sticks to the um, position four. It would be four, but I already picked uh, Chiron at the position four, so it goes right under Chiron. Another tip would be to use uh, decimals, like uh, for example, if I use on this test order index uh, number 3.5 and then click on save, and then it goes right underneath uh, my 3d printer here because this one uh, got the order index number three and our test equipment got the order, order index number 3.5 so you can work with decimals here too another useful tip would be um, to set some uh, state description so if we go back here and go into locations and then we click our card here you can see that I got an item called office light costs. Um, this is based on a rule, so I written a calculation rule here, but the number is given in just single uh, digits without any unit at, in the back. So as you can see, I got my, um, my voltage down here somewhere, uh, my voltage of my server or my um, daily consumption. Um, but these two or all these um, items are shown in the right unit. So for example, if you install a new device and this device sends the um, numbers with MQTT, most of the time MQTT don't even um, bring up the unit on the back. So you only get the number without the unit. So I think state description is a pretty powerful tool again. Um, if we go and set the model again, and then we want to change the office light cost here. So as you can see, we got only the decimals here, no unit. And there is a good page 
a good tutorial on the um, open up wiki sorry i gotta pick it up again um, there you can read through the documentation here and um, basically every unit and every symbol is available here in openhub3 so in our case we want this uh, with euro for example so i click on add metadata and add a state description and then i choose a specific pattern here so i need uh, the percent dot 2f this number 2 stands for the decimals and i will just go for a dollar and then i click on save and then as you can see we got the 40.86 dollars um, this would be one way to use the state description another one would be for example in my calendar so if i click date and time you will see that i got a different pattern here so i got my uh, day the date and the time so if i just look into the state description here you would see that there is a way different pattern than before um, i will post you a lot of different patterns in the video description so you can go through it and play around with it a little bit. Uh, the third tip um, of my most used um, functions here would be to set inside this card a second tab. So as you can see, I got a lot of items here inside my office and most of the time I only use three to four, like my main light and maybe the desk lamp um, and so it always depends on which um, room you are but most of the time I need three or four items which I use quite often on a daily basis so this is pretty unuseful for example if I search for my uh, Chiron here my second uh, 3d printer I have to scroll down scroll down and then here it is but I want to have it here inside this properties tab normally um, this should be used like it says, like normally it should be um, equipments only in this tab and properties in this tab. But I think it's more useful um, to see this as a quick access. So as we said, we wanna um, link the Shiro, my second 3D printer inside the properties to get uh, sort of a quick access. To do this, we go back here into settings, go inside the model again. As I said, the model is one of the most powerful tools in OpenHub 3. I think if the model is set up correctly and nicely, then you got no problems with OpenHub 3. Um, so I go inside my workshop and inside my office here. Um, and for this properties tab to work, you have to have two locations here. So you got a base location with workshop and a second location underneath the um, base location, um, in my case called office. And then we search for the Chiron, it's right here. And then we gotta click the item here, go on edit. And then you see that I um, choose a specific semantic class and a specific semantic property. You have to have a semantic property. If you don't choose a property here, this item will not show up in the properties tab in, in the card. And then we need to add a second group membership. Um, you can see that I only pick the equipment Chiron here, but we have to pick the main location or the under location office here too to um, get this item into inside the properties tab. Click on save and I go back and go back again and go to the locations page here. So if I open the card, my Chiron is still here inside the equipments but it's also inside the properties here. I know these are uh, too many items right now, but normally I got like three or four inside uh, the properties tab. So as you can see, you open this and then go to properties and then you got quick access um, to the Chiron. Uh, fourth tip, that's not really a tip, but uh, fourth function, which is uh, really great in OpenHub 3, is the integration of voice assistants. Like back in the days on OpenHub 2, it was quite hard to uh, link your voice assistant with uh, OpenHub system, but right, right now it's uh, pretty easy. 
The only thing you gotta do at first is to install the cloud connector. So we go inside MISC here and then install with the plus button down here the OpenHub cloud connector as well as the HomeKit integration if you want to use the Apple HomeKit. If you did that, you gotta update or um, configure the HomeKit integration here. Um, so just put in your specific password and, and your credentials and then you're basically set. The next thing we gotta do is go to model and then choose one item for example here my um, let's see if i got something the son of shiron um, it's uh, empty here on the metadata so i didn't even connect this with my uh, voice assistant so we need to click add metadata and then choose one of the three voice assistants here we can choose between alexa homekit and google assistant in my case i want to use google assistant and then I choose a specific class. It's a uh, uh, outlet because it's a power outlet for my 3D printer. And then I click on save and basically you're set. So it's way easier than back in the days in OpenHub 2 where you have to tag some textual files and uh, do a lot of stuff. Um, the only thing you got to do now is go into your Google Home app, search for new devices and this device, um, Son of Shiron, should uh, pop up. That was my fourth tip. And the fifth tip is a cosmetic one. I think it's really pretty to have some backgrounds like this. So to get a background like this inside uh, a card here, it's uh, quite easy again. Just go on top here on Edit Homepage and then choose your card you want to have a background in. And as you can see here, uh, this section says a background image. So you gotta post or insert a link to an image. In this case here, I just search for a uh, um, office picture on Google and then copy the link and paste it in the, inside this box here. And then click on done and save. The only problem with this method is that if the homepage goes down or the image got deleted, um, I will have no longer an image on the, on the OpenHub system. There's a workaround or a better solution in my opinion. So if we just um, search for example picture, I just choose a cat here. Um, and then I, I uh, save this picture. Again, close this. And then we want um, this image as a background here in my office card. So we got to rename this image in a better name. I call this one test. And in my case, I use OpenUp3 on a Raspberry Pi. So I will have to connect to my Raspberry Pi and then go inside the Pi. And then you will see this folders here. And we need this um, HTML folder. And then we are gonna paste the picture inside this folder here. You can close this and then we gotta type in http slash and then the IP address of the host of OpenHub or the picture. So you can um, even save this on a Mac or a Windows on, or on your server. So I will have to pick the the um, host of my um, open up system because i want to save it there then static and then the name of the picture it's uh, test jpeg then click on done click on save go back and then you see we got the nice little cat background here in my office so i think that's uh, one of the nicest features here that you can choose between uh, backgrounds and um, stick to your own background if you got some uh, pictures of your kitchen for example so um, i really like this feature um, this was my video about my five most used tips so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a like um, subscribe to the channel and then i would say i will round this up and uh, see you to the next video Bye-bye.